Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna do a lightning fast tutorial on publishing custom CloudWatch metrics. Now, if you use AWS, you probably already use CloudWatch, whether you realize it or not. If you ever look at your EC2 memory or CPU utilization or your Lambda invocations and failure rates, those are all CloudWatch metrics under the hood. But what you might not know is that you can publish custom metrics for your application. All right, let's dive into it, start the timer. So for this example, we're gonna use Python, but language doesn't matter. The same API is available no matter what language you choose to use, as long as there's an AWS SDK for that language. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is import Boto3, the Python AWS SDK. And then we're gonna make this a function that we can actually use in a Lambda, call it Lambda Handler, and it gets an event and a context object. The first thing we're gonna do in the function is get the CloudWatch object. Then we're gonna pull three values from the JSON object that got passed to the Lambda. In this example, we're a company that sells widgets and each widget is sold in a given country and each widget is a certain color. In addition to tracking the number of widgets we sell, we also wanna keep track of how many we sell for a given color and in a given country and combinations of those two things. Our function is gonna get passed a country, a color, and a number to be purchased. So let's grab those values. Here's the interesting part. We're gonna use an API called put metric data. This API takes two name parameters, metric data and a namespace. And metric data is a more interesting one. Metric data is an array of metrics that you'd like to publish. So in our case, we wanna publish the number of widgets sold and what color they were and what country they were sold to. So it's gonna take an array of objects. We're gonna give it a name and a dimensions value, which is, which is interesting. So dimensions is a way of associating extra values with this metric that you can then later use to slice and dice the data in the CloudWatch console. So if we specify the color and the country of this these widgets, so in the CloudWatch console, we can dive into specific dimensions that we're interested in, or we can look at all dimensions as a whole. So the way we do this is we pass in an array of dimension objects, and each dimension has a name, and this one will be country, and a value. So the value that was passed into the, the function. Same thing for color. And the value that we're gonna pass as the metric is, which is the number that will actually show on the graph, is num purchase. So that's a string as it gets passed into the function, so we're gonna cast that to a float. Okay, that's about it. And the other thing we need to specify when we put a metric is a namespace. So for a lot of people, this might not be useful, but if you have a situation where you want to have a metric with the same name, but it might have multiple meanings depending on the context, or you distinguish between those via a namespace. In our case, we're just gonna call it tests. Okay, and then since we wanna be able to run this in a Lambda, we're gonna return an object saying that things were successful. No error handling in this example, it's just, just, just to get a feel for the API itself. Okay, we're done. Let's save that. Let's create a new Lambda. Watch. Specify Python 3.9 as a runtime, create the function. The only thing we have to do after we create the function is to give the execution role of that function permissions to publish to CloudWatch. Otherwise we'll get an error when we run this. So let's go ahead and go into configuration permissions, click on the role, and then attach a CloudWatch policy. Okay, we should be good to go now. Then all we need to do is copy and paste the code into the inline code editor. Let's go ahead and do that. Deploy, actually we, we need to set up a test event here. So we need to specify a color, we'll say green, and a country, we'll say United States, and then a num purchased. And we'll just say one for now. Give it a name. Okay, looks like that worked. Let's see if that metric shows up in CloudWatch. Okay, looks like we got our metric here. You can see earlier I was testing with some other values of country and color, and so you can see those values in the graph as well. So we can look at all these different dimensions side by side. We can also look at all of them in aggregate if we use the sum function. So if we go to math expression, sum, and then it'll automatically populate details with sum of all metrics. We see in this example, we sold a green one in the United Kingdom, a green one in Belgium, a blue one in the United States, and a blue one in Canada, and so expression one is is four. So um, all widgets, we'll call this one all widgets. So now all widgets shows as four, which is a sum of the rest. So 
you can look at the data any way you want. So yeah, that's a super lightning fast tutorial on publishing CloudWatch metrics for your application. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.